Hi, and welcome to my review of the 75324 Dark Trooper Attack Set from LEGO Star Wars in 2023 with 166 pieces. Let's get into this set. This set was originally $30. It was the same price as the 501st Battle Pack, and it is the same box as the 501st Battle Pack. It does have significantly less pieces, however, and the price was increased to $35 uh, when the LEGO price increases happened. Um, which is a, you know, a bit unfortunate, so it's $35. I did find this one on sale, and it's a great way it, uh, to get more Dark Troopers. It doubles as a, a, a Dark Trooper battle pack, rather, uh, something like that, you could say. So the only other set you could get a Dark Trooper in was the Moff Gideon's uh, Imperial Light Cruiser, which was okay, but now you can, you know, get a bunch more to add to your army. You get this set, you get that set, boom, all of a sudden you have four. So this is a cutscene from the Mandalorian that takes place on Moff Gideon's Starfighter. Um, and that's all I'm going to say. I mean, if you're looking at the set, that kind of spoils it, I guess, because you have Luke Skywalker in there, and obviously that was a, a big spoiler. But you have your Luke Skywalker and your Dark Troopers and your hallway. So let's get into this. I must say I've never actually owned a Luke Skywalker from Episode 6. I only have the um, Luke Skywalkers from Episode 4, whether that is in the pilot uniform or the uh, just farm boy Luke. But uh, here we have this absolutely awesome, he kind of looks like a Sith Lord though, not gonna lie. Except for the green lightsaber, I would have totally assumed, yeah, this is this is a not good dude walking in. You know, it's got this really nice looking cape piece, or hood piece. And the cape is super soft, but that's kind of not a special thing to this set. It's just a, a new fabric that LEGO's using, and it's really soft and I really like it. But yeah, this is a great figure, and I'm glad to have it. Dark Trooper is interesting. I'm not really sure about the... A uh, weapon choice for the Dark Trooper. It's a little odd. You have the uh, Wrecker kind of pads thing that they're using to make the armor there, which they printed very nicely. This is just the exact same thing as the other one. You've got this head that you can turn around so you can have them be activated or deactivated. When they're activated, they're gonna, you know, their eyes are gonna be red. Anyway, that's just a cool figure. All right, let's set the scene for this set. The box art looks great. And here is exactly what's going on. I'm not really gonna look at that because I'm gonna tell you. Here's what's going on. Your people are trapped over here. All of a sudden, <clears throat> the dark troopers turn around. All of a sudden, Luke Skywalker appears. Boom, force push, ah! Lightsaber cut, ah! And more, ah! And then Luke Skywalker wins, look at that. So let's take a look at all this stuff. All right, we, we got this, these are all stickers by the way. This sticker sheet is ridiculous, okay? But, you know, it does look all good. It definitely looks like this could be a Republic hallway or an Imperial Light Cruiser hallway. So, I mean, that that's fair. Um, same thing here. Uh, you've got this little mechanism that you can turn, and it turns the door, right? So that's great. So you could take, you know, any figure you wanted, right? And put them in the little, little doorway and just whoop. You have to have his hand out of the way. Boom. And his cape got stuck. But, hey, we go this way. Won't be a big problem. And then boom, he's back, right? So there you go. There's Luke Skywalker. He just came in, and now he is destroying these dark troopers. Boom. All right, you got a little control panel here. Also a sticker and some flashy lights, which I think are really important. They add a little bit of color to this set, which is pretty much gray. Um, and you don't want to look at this set from the wrong side, because if you do, it doesn't look too good. But if you look at it from the angle that you're supposed to look at it, it's pretty good. All right, it's got this little feature here. You can kind of spin this. And I'm not really sure what the whole point of this is. Maybe if you want Luke Skywalker to be doing like a 360 and like just taking out people right and left, maybe that's what you could use that for. Uh, or maybe you could have him spin a Dark Trooper via the Force. Who knows? Um, but obviously there's a suggestion of a hallway down here. So who knows if you had a second one, maybe you can make an extension. Um, you've got this little thing right here. You can place a figure and then move him like this. This is to mimic the Force that you are using uh, to push the Dark Trooper away or to bring him towards you. I guess you could use it in reverse as well. This set reminds me a lot of Snoke's Throne Room. Uh, it has the exact same stickers actually on the insides of this mechanism here, which um, is the exact same mechanism from that set. And I still don't like it because uh, you can't fit a person with a lightsaber in there. Like I tried, you can only fit Luke without a lightsaber. And now you're saying, well, yeah, he didn't have a lightsaber ignited when he you know, showed up, and yeah, but, like, I want him to have a lightsaber, and it doesn't work, so that, that's a big problem for me, personally, uh, but I, I guess it doesn't really matter too much, and then, of course, you've got the force pushing ability, that was also something from that, that other set as well, just a comparison, 
Uh, but yeah, there you go. There's the set. All in all, <clears throat> you know, there's really, you know, not too many bad things about the set. It's a good set. Uh, one of the bad things, of course, obviously, is the price. 35 bucks, quite a lot for a little. Um, and the second thing is there's really only one thing you can do with the set. Uh, the Luke Skywalker minifigure also makes it hard for you to build a Dark Trooper army. You're also going to be building up a little army of Luke Skywalkers at the same time. Which is, you know, it, it's to be expected, and, you know, that shouldn't really matter. Because if somebody's going out and, and buying, has the money to buy all these to make an army, then, I mean, they're going to have enough money. It's going to be fine, right? But, um, you know, for most people, I think this is a good set. Especially if they have Moff Gideon Starfighter, they can just get one of these. Uh, but if as a standalone set, uh, this is kind of boring because you just literally have... Luke Skywalker and three Dark Troopers in a hallway. Like, there's no variation. There's nothing you can do with this that's different than what I've shown you right here. So, anyway, that's just one of my little thoughts. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great one, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.